Have you ever thought to yourself, I'm tracking this rock song and I really need some bongos on it? There's an epic guitar solo and it would sound real cool to have some bongos on air. No? <laughs> Me neither. But Family Dog did. And so that's what we're going to talk about today is this band Family Dog that I've been working on a song with. And they wanted to put down some aux percussion. And we decided the best thing to do was some bongos. And, uh, then I had to figure out how to get it to sit in the track the right way. So I'm going to show you the bongos that we tracked, the microphone that we tracked them with, and I'm going to show you what I did to process these bongos and get them to feel the way that I wanted them to feel inside the track. All right, let's do it. All right, so first things first, thank you for watching another video of Capsule to Cone, and we're gonna talk about some bongo production and some things that we did in the tracking phase. The song is not mixed yet, so, you know, be patient with the band. Uh, we're still, we still got a few things left to track on it, but I think it's a cool song, and I think uh, it's not very often you get to talk about bongos on YouTube, so why not talk about some bongos on YouTube? But um, <laughs> we, uh, first things first, we started with just uh, the bongos in the live room, middle of the live room, and set up the AKG 422 in stereo over top of the bongos to capture Skylar's performance. And this is what that sounds like if we want to listen to the bongos just isolated by themselves. After the band finished the uh, performance, they went home, I decided that it was time for me to take a look at these bongos, and I was listening back to the song, and they're really getting lost. They're getting beat up by the guitar solo, and so I wanted to add some more ambience, and I also wanted to add some compression, kind of fatten them up a little bit, and try to make them a little more consistent through the section of the song. It's kind of this, like this breakdown section where everything gets kind of smaller for a second and more laid back and chill, and then there's like this epic guitar solo that comes in after the bongos come in. I, I can't even believe I'm talking about this. I love it. I think the song is really cool and very creative, but uh, it's just so fun. These are words that I feel like don't go together in sentences. But let's just go ahead and listen to what I did next because I decided that let's go ahead and compress it with the UBK Fatso, which is a really cool compressor. Got a lot of mojo there and a lot of color. And it's really cool what ended up happening after I ran it through the UBK. And I've got it, um, I've got the two channels linked together so that we can keep the thing in stereo and the compression in stereo, and I'm getting lots of color from the transformer being engaged, and I'm using it in splat and spank mode, actually. I had to take a quick peek there. Splat and spank mode are both engaged, and so what's really cool is you'll hear when I play this that a lot of the room around the microphone is getting pushed up as it's getting really, really squashed down, but there's still a bunch of transient in this recording, So, and I'm actually going to end up blending it in with the original bongo, so let's check that out. I'll show you the compressed one, and then I'll show you what it sounds like blended back in with the original bongo recording. When I'm tracking this song, I usually have a plate reverb that is set up that I can use on things like the snare drum, the vocals. Uh, vocals sound great when they're being tracked with some reverb, and it just really helps the singer to not feel like they're in a box in the headphones and in the vocal booth. So I always have a plate as part of my template. And when we were tracking this, I went ahead and sent the bongos to that plate, and I think I became 
sort of attached to how they already sounded with the plate, but I wanted more. So I created a perk bus and I sent both the original recording and the new print through the Fatso sort of in parallel to this perk bus. And I put my plate reverb on that and I was like, okay, that's good, but I want just a little, just a little bit more. You know, I'm adding a lot of ambience to kind of keep this, the vibe of this section. That's, the, that's one thing. It's a vibey section, so it needs to have some ambience, I feel like. Um, but I want just a little bit more. So I reached for Valhalla Vintage Verb, and I just started with the uh, the factory default, I think. No, I went to a preset called Large Wooden Room. Large Wooden Room, and then I tweaked it to my taste, really trying to get rid of a lot of the, the high frequency. So I'm, so I'm low passing down to 3 kilohertz, and I am high passing up to maybe like 250 or 300 hertz to get rid of some of that stuff. And then... Uh, I uh, played with uh, the pre-delay and the decay time until it felt right. And so what I'm going to do now is show you both of them sum together, and then I'm going to add in the reverbs, and I'll put the Valhalla uh, Vintage Verb plugin on the screen so that you can see the settings that I used for that reverb. And this is what that sounds like. So there you go, bongos in a rock track with an epic guitar solo. I think it sounds really cool. I think this was a lot of fun. I, this is one of the most interesting songs that I have worked on in a really long time. Um, I had a lot of fun with these guys. We had a blast doing uh, all the things that we did to it, and I'm gonna make a bunch more videos from this recording because it was such a fun track to work on, and uh, maybe even, you know, I don't know. I'm not gonna make any promises because I'm terrible about starting series and never finishing them, uh, but maybe in the future, uh, we'll even have some other um, mixing videos from the final mix, but it's in the tracking stages, and I thought this was a really cool way to capture a bongo and then also kind of get it to sit in sort of the, uh, just the tracking mix, the rough mix. So if you haven't already, go down below and check out the link to Family Dog. They're a new band. They're from Lexington, Kentucky, and they are very, very, everybody in this band is a monster. They're super, super talented. They got a sax player. They got a guy doing aux percussion, Skylar playing bongos. They've got an amazing drummer and bass player and two ripping guitar players and one hell of a singer, Jordan King. Oh my gosh, what a voice. We're definitely going to do some more videos on this band. And thank you for watching. I've been Matt. This is Capsule Cone, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh -huh.